Command points. Unstable ISO. Gold bars. These might seem like harmless words, but they're actually terms of addiction. Hi, I'm DJ Lunchbox of the Wrestling Mayhem Show. The Facebook game Avengers Alliance claims over $750,000 every five hours. Just as many lives each and every month. If you or someone you know is being abused by freemium games using beloved childhood characters to manipulate their wallets and time, call the number below. Get them help. Talk to them. Tell them you care. Remember, it's never too late to avenge your friends. Of all the people out there that love you, Bobby. You don't need to go through this addiction anymore. This is for you. We want you to get better. This is an intervention. You've gone too far. We need to turn your life around. Because somewhere, deep down in my heart, I still love you. <laughs> Bobby's all playing a damn game. Get your life back. I know you say you can quit whatever you want to, but you can't. Just come back to us, Bobby. Come back. Welcome, everybody, to Let's Play. Um, apparently, I'm Bobby F. J. Town, and I have a problem. Um, I, 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 I did take everybody's advice this week, and I, I cut back on my uh, Marvel Avengers Alliance uh, playtime. Um, but I did unlock Juggernaut, so it's all worth it. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, no. screw wish... you guys! No. <laughs> Bobby says, I wish I could quit you, Juggernaut. <laughs> Let me caress that uh, helmet. <laughs> so, wait, what? 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 <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, set time. What did everybody play this week? Uh, real quick, we got plenty to get to, too. Yeah, there's plenty to get to today. Uh, all the E3 news. But we'll hold that off till after we talk about what we played. Mm -hmm. was for all right, well, I played the challenge. I played Blobs. And I played uh, Doritos Crash Course. Um, <laughs> before we get to... Uh, the E3 talk, I would just like to point out that if you go on your Xbox 360 um, and watch the Wolverine trailer under uh, games, uh, you will unlock Wolverine claws for your Xbox avatar. Nice! nice. Good tip. Nice. Good tip. Yeah. So, yeah, go get your claws. I'm going to do that as soon as we finish here. Awesome. <laughs> I've, I've just been playing Injustice. Uh, Scorpion was unlocked today. Nice. And he's okay in the game, but other than that, I haven't really, I haven't been really just playing iPhone games all day, all, mm -hmm. all week. Mm -hmm. I forgot I to think. play the challenge. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm sad, right. but it's awesome. And uh, cool. I've been playing. Uh, I, I did play the challenge today. Uh, I dusted off the, the the Dreamcast, tried to play some Jet, Jet Grind Radio, and couldn't find my save game. So I grabbed an old emulator and threw the uh, and found the challenge on the disc. Um, I also uh, can't remember everything else that I played. Oh, uh, Black Ops Two! I finished the campaign actually this week. Oh, nice! And started kind of poking a little bit in the uh, Mob of the Dead. Uh, the intro to it is amazing. Just even mm -hmm. if you just pop in there, if you have that, just to see the intro. Um, Ch Chachi it, and I have played that before, and it's yeah. Kind of yeah, I, I think I think now that I got through the campaign, I'm going to start <clears throat> diving a little bit more into the zombies. Now that I, I realize that there's like an offline component, so I can play it without sucking uh, <laughs> in front of everybody. So Chachi, we we sucked. Yeah, we we did terrible. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you definitely need to practice that one to see what's going on there. It's still it's still no Left for Dead, but it's interesting. It's interesting. So, hmm. all right, and I've been playing Marvel Avengers Alliance a little less. Okay, um, I, I played <laughs> only a hundred uh, hours. I played um, crap. What's the name of it? Arisen? Not a no, not Arisen. Yes. Oh, what did I? What game did I buy? <laughs> I can't remember the Wait, name. Wait, this is 
an ongoing problem with you for some reason. <laughs> if it's not, it, if it's yeah, not it's, Marvel it's arisen, Avengers Alliance. I think. And then, and then um, I, I played that. It was good. The, the Capcom Dragon game. Um, I played a little more Dark Souls. Um, I played a um, couple like Facebook games, stuff like that. Uh, I did play the challenge. Uh, it was harder than I remember when as a kid, which is weird. I that was that game was tough. Mm-hmm. So, um, and I also um, purchased um, uh, the 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 um, my memory's leaving me tonight. It's okay, man. See what happens when you're playing Marvel <laughs> Avengers Alliance. And you this is what it does to me. Turkey. This is, you're just coming on, down off the high, man. I know, I know. I'm I'm shaking. Just one more <laughs> unlock. Just one more unlock. One more shield agent. I need the juggernaut. Come, I need the are juggernaut. Are you guys? Are you guys cold? <laughs> <laughs> Sleeping dogs is what I what I oh, okay. also okay. played. Yeah, it was fifteen bucks on uh, Xbox Live, and I got it. Awesome. So yeah, that's what I played this week. Alrighty. All right. Uh, now for the fun stuff. What do you guys think of E three? As a oh. whole, the whole as damn a thing. Whole, as the whole thing. No. Right. <laughs> let's let's take it one step at a time since Please. they went first. Please. How about Microsoft? Microsoft. Microsoft did what they did. What they were supposed to do. Yeah, they showed. They the games. announced mm. video games and video games and video games and Xbox 360 game and Xbox 360 stuff and the hardware and the price and everything. That's what they needed to do. Mm-hmm. That's why everybody was up in arms about the reveal that they didn't do, and they did it at E3. I love. Yeah. I do love what ended up happening. That they got all that extraneous. These are the details about the console. This is the media stuff out of the way. So yeah. they could, I think they, they internally said, hey, E3 is games. E3 is not this media stuff. Mm-hmm. L- let's concentrate. And I think all together between that and PlayStation more or less doing the same, I think that and on top of like stuff that Ubisoft did, you know, uh, I don't think I watched any other one. Uh it was just like a game explosion yesterday, and, yeah, there was and, a lot. and there was enough cool new stuff and enough old stuff sprinkled in. It was just amazing. Uh, definitely the most enjoyable E3, uh, watching the conferences at least that I think I've had in a long time. Mm-hmm. The price scares me for the Xbox One, though. Yes, yeah, a little bit. Yes, I mean it's not going to deter me away from thinking of the xbox one as a console that i want to get in the future but i can i can wait and see what happens with my 360 yeah hold on i i I tweeted um go ahead and keep talking but i i tweeted a few things yesterday in regards to the price okay Mm -hmm. the Um, the 360 is going to be live and well for a couple more years at least a year or two yeah yeah well no they've already said that it's at least five years yeah oh good yeah, and um, I'm, so, I'm satisfied keeping my 360. If that means there's going to be some sort of price drop or something. Mm-hmm. But okay, and as far as the price goes, um, I disagree with you and everyone else. Okay, uh, the the 499 price is exactly where it needs to be. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, um, because a- and I have I have data to back it up. But if you look back. Um, the 360 was 399. Mm-hmm. Um, the PS3 was 399 to 599, depending on your hard drive size. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, Nintendo it has always traditionally been around the 350 to 299 mark. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh, with with uh, uh, the change in the cost of living and uh, the change in the dollar, as well as Inflation, a, a four ninety nine price point, you think is high, but in reality, right on the mark. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's about the price of an iPad. It's always cost prohibitive when you first get it, in the long run. And, and let's yeah. be honest, like you can arguably say it does a little bit more. It depends on your angle on it. Maybe it's a little. It's definitely more powerful than an iPad, uh, mm-hmm. as, as far as that goes. Um, and just much media and stuff on it too, I guess. Uh, well, I mean. I, I, why should Xbox be any different than any other computer system you're getting? Yeah, right. Yeah, especially. I, I, especially I mean, this what does anyone say, or what? Who dictates that 
an Xbox is anything less than a, a type of computer. Mm-hmm. And it, uh, along those lines, why don't they deserve the money that computers are getting? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and as a rule, these things are cost prohibitive to begin with. They have to be for them to put that much stuff in, right? Right. So uh, it's it just that that it, well, it's just that hundred dollar difference uh, makes it look more tempting to get a, th- a, a PlayStation Four at this point. Yeah, I agree. With, I agree with you. Mm-hmm. I mean, what, what are well, maybe we'll say this for the end? Well, no, let's do this. Like at this point, it, let's say you had the money to pick one this holiday season. Like just just say everything fell into place with you guys career wise and whatnot. And you got that money there at, at Christmas time. Uh, at this point, and this, and you're not you're not sold on this. Uh, uh, this can obviously change with whatever news we get over the next six mm-hmm. months. But at, at at this point, what do you think you would be picking up at this point, Riz? Xbox One. Xbox One, okay. I think it's more It's more of the, I can do more things with it. Yeah. That, that aspect of, oh, there's a lot of stuff you can do. Yeah, it's a price, dip. Like, if price is not an issue, Yeah. I want to buy the better console, which has a lot of stuff on it. Yeah. Which has, you know, TVs and, and you can order pizza and whatever you <laughs> want to do on there. It's the pizza. The pizza sold yeah, it. The I pizza can buy Pizza Hut. I'm good to go. I, if I go ahead, Bobby. If I had the money, I'd buy a Lamborghini. <laughs> um, <laughs> I meant like five hundred bucks. <laughs> no, I, I would actually go with Sony right now. I'm still, I Sony Sony redeemed themselves this year with me. It made me want to play my PS3, which I haven't played much lately. Which I'll be playing a lot more Friday, by the way. Okay. Last of Us comes out instead of but, Avengers Alliance. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be losing myself to zombies this time. But no, I, I it, it brought me back. Their press conference brought me back to when I had a PlayStation Two, and I was so happy with their p- press conference when they unveiled like the PlayStation Two and all that stuff like that, and new games for it. It just brought me back to that time, and I, I, I was I was very happy with Sony's pro, uh, press conference. Yeah, yeah. I, I started the night bashing them. You guys saw on Twitter. Yeah. We the all press were. conference Dude, we all was were. late. The, the press conference was late starting, and I said things to do while you're waiting for a, a, the PlayStation <laughs> press conference. Buy an Xbox One, and by the end, I was praising Sony. I, I said that Sony won E3. I don't know if they won E3, but they. I think they're in the lead for, as far as consoles go. Right? They got the buzz, didn't they? They they did. They 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 beat they beat out. They got to the step out. It definitely, definitely. What about you, uh, Chach? Um, it'll, if you're making it that I have to buy an Xbox One or a PS4, mm-hmm. um, it, uh, I'm sorry, but Microsoft still gets my money. Okay, why? Um, well, uh, looking at it from an objective standpoint, which I've been doing all day. <laughs> you're, big, <laughs> um, you're big on this objectivity. Look at you, uh, journalism uh, sword, major. Sword can attest to it. Um, but... Uh, Either way you go, there's downsides. Yeah. 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 Um, so it comes down to personal preference mm-hmm. and uh, which one would be easier to uh, change to. Mm-hmm. Um, and I don't want my achievement points to start at zero. So it would be mm-hmm. Xbox One. Are achievement points really like the deciding factor for you, though? Yeah. Because, I mean, is that is is your gamer mm-hmm. score that important to anything? Not mine isn't. In- like in the long run, I mean, they're, for it. they're nice, but is that like like I I show that off? Look at my number. Like is, I worked hard for it. Okay, okay. There there still is a sense of that connects you with that system. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But right. I mean, I in a, in an ideal world, I can say that if I had thirteen hundred dollars to drop on whatever I wanted, mm-hmm. it would be both of them and a Google Glass. Mm-hmm. Because I I mean I'm not I'm not. I'm not picking. Yeah. Um, um, and, and as far as I have to disagree with Bobby, but as far as a winner goes for E3, um, I, I strongly disagree. And you can read about it tomorrow morning on Insert Coin and Begin because there will be a lengthy article. There, there was you think, no... Admit it. You think Nintendo won. <laughs> <laughs> That's the swerve. That's the swerve, right? N- Nintendo's that... Uh... Nintendo's the friend zone. 
with friends yeah. right now. They're friends. <laughs> they got, they, We're just friends. That, you know, they didn't. <laughs> We're friends. Here's my code. Sword. <laughs> Memorize it. Here, which nice. one would you buy, Sword? Uh, Xbox One all the way. Uh, I, 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 I gotta say though, uh, you know, last generation, I didn't give a consideration to the PlayStation Three, uh, but Xbox One, keeping an eye on PlayStation Three or Four, right? Mm-hmm. Right. Um, I and again, as far as like who won, I am very big. I've said this. I think I said it on the last show. I've said it before. I am really glad to have this Sony back. Mm-hmm. The mm-hmm. punchy Sony, the the uh, the the kind of fearless Sony. The fact that they put out a video of this is how you share a game on PlayStation Four. Oh my God! <laughs> yeah. That is the that, that is exactly amazing. why I bought a PS One. That is exactly. I mean, it's not the only reason, but that attitude. You know, that's it's... why we all buy a Sega Genesis back in the day. Nintendo yep. don't, right? Uh, I, I love I love that. I like 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 the. The gloves are coming off with the console game where it feels like everybody just kind of settled in their position where just doing their own thing and didn't care about anybody else because everybody was going to be where they were going to be. Sony's making great games. That is not deniable. I'm not saying that Sony's mm-hmm. – I'm not saying the console is a bad system. has not been for the last seven years. They got great stuff first party. But, I, but for what I want, Xbox was the place to be, and it's been for a lot of people. But – Man, the, the the playing field has been leveled because they're basically the same hardware right now. It is about the games. It is mm-hmm. who's getting the exclusives. There's interesting stuff going both ways. Hey, we got Metal Gear over on Xbox now. Hey, we got, uh, oh, who got, um, somebody surprised me with some uh, exclusive DLC. It was a, a, a GTA 5, I think. It's getting an exclusive yeah. GLC, a DLC over on uh on the PlayStation. And so, they're also getting a bundle, too. And they're getting a bundle and all like, I don't yeah. know, bundle, whatever, right? Yeah. Uh, you know, everybody gets a bundle of something, right? Yeah, exactly. Um, I mean, there's a Modern Warfare 3 edition of the Xbox. You know, mm-hmm. does, that, does that affect your decision? No, you know? no. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, that affects the decision of people at that moment decide to yeah. get Oh, it. my God, I want it! Yeah, it's really, it was like, uh, that's a whole other thing. But uh, I'm definitely going with the Xbox One because it, it appeals to me Again, kind of like I'm used to the Xbox thing. I like how Xbox does things. I don't really, I'm not sold on how Sony's going to do things. I do use my Xbox as a media player, and they are definitely winning in that category. I'm curious to see what they do with Kinect. Uh, the Xbox appeals to my sense of uh, uh, technology as a toy. You know, I, you know, the reason I have an iPhone and I get a new one every couple of years, the reason I really mm. want to get Google Glass on my face, you know, uh, it is appealing to that sensibility. <laughs> We're five years old. <laughs> but yeah, that, that, that's basically it. So I would just like to uh, take a minute and uh, point out that and this is something that no one else caught. Yeah, uh, I, I'm sure. Um, but is Sony's entrance music? Um, was, yeah, that was uh, the new. That was, was a little awkward. Age. What was it? New age. Welcome to the new age. Oh, oh yeah, radio, yeah, yeah, yeah. I made um, comments about that. Radio uh, one of the, uh, <laughs> and they only played it for like fifteen seconds before they went into their preview video. Mm-hmm. Um, but they only had um, one set of lyrics in there, and the main words of those lyrics were, "I'm waking up." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I think that says it purposely, so, uh, perfectly. So, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know if they did it on purpose. I don't even know if they were paying attention. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I, well, I, I think I think in a, in something like this, every detail is considered. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Especially something on this grand scale. When you got that, like this little guy and, on that giant stage. Oh my god! Um, uh, it, it's. And, and I think that's very appropriate because, mm-hmm. really, I think it was like, okay, this generation went the way it is. We're not going to be able to pick that up. Uh, let's make sure we get it right next time. They yeah, they they learned. It's almost like Sony and Microsoft reversed yeah. from when they announced the PS3 and Xbox 360. Yeah. And I, I think that Microsoft learned – or not Microsoft. Sony learned from their mistakes, and they're trying to make up for it. Like with that price point and with the sharing of the games and stuff like that, yeah. And I think Microsoft is in, in a position where, like, oh, we can get away with this, and they didn't. They're not. They don't really learn from <clears throat> Sony's mistakes. You know that, what I mean? That is that like is they're in the driver's seat. Well, I think. Well, I think I don't think they're not learning from Sony's mistakes. I think they're being yeah. cocky, just like Sony, yeah. just yeah. like Sony did in PlayStation Three. Mm-hmm. Exactly. They were cocky coming from off of PlayStation Two, and that's what caught mm-hmm. them. 
Um, but I think the combination, it's kind of like an election where that ind- that popular independent content, uh, independent uh, 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 candidate messes things up for the other two. <laughs> like that's what the we did, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. It, it offset the whole thing, and of course, then that fell under, and Xbox took off. Um, but nobody's going to buy a Wii U. Well, yeah. I mean, let's be honest. Um, but I think you're right. But I don't think it's they're making the same mistakes. They're making a whole new level of yeah. mistakes. Because Chachi has said this several times. We have not had a situation like this. I, you know, you were saying the time frame. We haven't had consoles this old. That our people. Well, are- yeah, and that this is all stuff that will be mentioned uh, tomorrow. But we are, and I hate to say it, but this is a new age. Yeah. But uh, we have really never, know, ever been in this situation before as gamers yeah Mm -hmm. Uh, we have not had consoles that lasted seven years and by the time they're done those consoles will be 12 13 years old Mm -hmm. uh we don't need new consoles right now but because we have the means uh, and people want more graphics uh, we're doing it Mm-hmm. Uh, there, there's something for everyone. Mm-hmm. I, I don't care mm-hmm. who you are. If you pretend to be a gamer, there is something for you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if, if you can't hold a controller, there's PC gaming. If you are a mainstream gamer, then there are two and a half systems you can pick from. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you like uh, the game on the go, there's two handhelds. I, I mean, I mean uh, there's mobile gaming. Um, uh, mobile gaming out the ass, may I say? There was a good point. Can I can I add on that a little bit? Uh, there was a good point today uh, where this guy uh, uh, happened across him on game trailers. I, I can't remember his name, uh, uh, but he was doing kind of a pre. Please, Nintendo, knock my socks off. And then I caught him on the live stream. <laughs> Nintendo, why the hell didn't you knock my socks off? But he also <laughs> came around, and this was like an awesome, like got you know the hair sticking up on my neck, rallying cry of this is the best awesomest day of video games and week of video games ever um and something really really awesome is happening and remember the c3 and that Mm -hmm. was the feeling i got off of uh sony last night and just this whole situation this discussion we're having we're like Mm -hmm. it is a super exciting time Uh, i say this a lot on awesome it's a super exciting time to like be into technology and talking about these things and everything uh but it is a super super excited time to see what's coming up in video games the stuff we have sitting on our tvs is freaking awesome the stuff that's going to be sitting on our tvs next which which looks like we have a tremendous choice from uh is going to be exciting to and and charge we talked about this earlier earlier too talking about the game pop and the ouya about the choices right. you have we have independent companies who are choosing to sit outside the doors of e3 mm-hmm. and nothing right. says nothing is more indie than refusing to take spot on the e3 floor <laughs> yeah 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 not and bothering. just going oh no we're cool we'll hang outside mm-hmm. we don't need to be in there I, no, they don't. Is That's it, the thing. Is the it, Ouya is going to sell way more copies than it ultimately should have. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and, and I mean, uh, that's where we are as gamers. They backdoored it, man. It, it doesn't matter if you're a fanboy of one company or another. If you don't get sh- if you don't get goosebumps thinking about the state that video games are in at this point in time. It, maybe it's time for you to hang up the controller. <laughs> and I think this is the reason, really. Isn't this the reason that we're that Nintendo is in so much trouble? I mean, not that they're bad. There was a good point. Yeah. There was a good point that was made that um, that Nintendo as a whole last year made six hundred billion dollars or something like that, and that was the first year in there since they've been reporting in twenty five or since nineteen eighty one that they reported a loss. Wow. Let's think about this too. And then I got to think about this. Nintendo, I think where Nintendo fails is they are a company that used to sell playing cards in <laughs> Japan that are trying to tackle online services. Yeah. Let's mm-hmm. think about that for a second. There's Versus, a fun fact for you. Huh? Uh, Nintendo used to sell vacuum cleaners. There you go. And now we're trying to figure out how to do online. That's why they suck today. Oh! <laughs> but. No. 
No, that. that There's is a not lot what more reasons. Yeah. Reason yeah. <laughs> well, do we want to touch well, on yeah. that then? Yeah. We have well, to. Well, what, what were your thoughts I, about Nintendo's games that they uh, that they Nintendo, set about? Nintendo, they started off strong. Um, mm-hmm. They showed Pokemon X and Y, and then they turned it into Tamagotchi. <laughs> oh no! No! Um, no! No! And that's where it went downhill. No, they kind of like, played it safe. Like I, they're Too not safe. trying. I, I mean, they didn't do the presentation from E3. Instead, the first mm. two minutes of the video is uh, Agata um, saying, "We're coming to you from the seventh floor conference room, which we'll be using to meet with our shareholders next month." Oh, that wasn't oh. a green screen. No, I thought it was because it looked animated. It looks fake as hell. That's just how it looks like in Japan. Yeah. Everything looks like an anime. <laughs> but, um, well, there's and then from there, are, he went straight into the Pokemon Mario. XY. Yeah. And I was cool with that because I'm like, all right, another Pokemon game, new Pokemons, new town. Uh, there's a new type. I'm like, all right, mixing it up some. I can deal with that. Mm-hmm. And then they turned it into Tamagotchi. And I'm like, you got to be fucking kidding me. And honestly, I started weeping into my keyboard from that point on. <laughs> well, and, and to follow it up, now I did catch, I was watching a little bit before I, I got you guys on for Awesome Cast. There was actually an interview with Reggie, which I'm like, why isn't Reggie part of this, right? But obviously, right. They're, they're put this out. I, His I, body was ready. <laughs> His body was ready. But, like, he was, he's seriously selling the fact that, well, yeah, we had a really good holiday season. We're obviously slumping. We, see, we honestly just didn't have the games to put out. Which me says you should have the games to put out, guys. Yes. You should schedule better. Mm-hmm. Um, and and he was seriously selling the fact that we got three AAA titles coming out into the holiday season that we think are going to pick things up again. And of course, we got stuff next year with Mar. Uh, is Mario Kart coming up this year or next year? Brawl's coming yeah, out I next, think next year. year. Or, or Smash Brothers is next Kart year. Eight. So there, he's like, we got three titles. He mentioned Peekman, uh, Lu- Super Luigi, yeah. and Wind Waker. But Wind Waker's a remake. Yeah, but, when, but do you think so? they, they think that is going to be the thing that picks no, up? I think Apparently people will buy it. I, I think people will buy it. I don't where, think... It's not, where, where was the new Zelda HD that they promised? Oh, who promised it, that? That is the Zelda that HD. Is the, Zelda game. No, the, a new Zelda HD, that tech demo they had. Well, you got the tingle thing on your little iPad fake thing. Yeah. No, you got... The, the tech demo they showed was uh, Skyward Sword footage. Yeah. That they didn't oh, use. Yeah. Okay. Well, and, and, and they really, just, really never promised okay. us a new Zelda. And, and I, that means there are fans all over the world that have Triforces tattooed to them that aren't getting a new Zelda game, and they're hugging <laughs> their <laughs> Nintendo's <laughs> crying. <laughs> wow, that is autobiographical, Johnny. isn't it? Uh, <laughs> um, I, wait, wait, I, sorry. Uh, the other the other problem I have is okay, we got. Um, well, one, I, pro- and I didn't watch the entire thing, but from what I know from the Xbox one, they didn't show anything about the Kinect, did they? No. I think they no. touched on it today. They did touch on it I today? I think they had a separate event all right, today. All right, so, so, so your, your big one, you didn't showcase the thing that's a reason we're probably paying $100 more than Sony at this point. Mm-hmm. That's a mistake, okay? You have, you have to sell me on that device. You have to sell the shit out of that device. Mm-hmm. The Wii is not selling the fact that I have an iPad included in the box, and that's why it's so damn expensive. Yeah. Okay, I didn't see anything today that showcased that thing. I didn't see anything. You go to the demo. Hey guys, I got my hands on a Wii U a couple weeks ago. I think I mentioned last week, and there was nothing to demonstrate. I got to play New Super Mario Brothers and Rayman Legends, and I think there was one more thing. There might have been the uh, I don't know if the zombie game was a demo or not, but there was nothing there that I could play that really showcased that other than selecting the level on Rayman. Hmm. Like nothing is. Nothing is tactically interesting like the way Actually, it that's not true, sir. Hmm. Um, there is a game they showed. Hold on, let me get the name of it. I'm sorry, um, I, might have, I might have missed stuff when I was jumping ahead in the skippy-ass presentation <laughs> we had in America. And it wasn't just you and me. Game trailers mentioned it, too. Yeah, I know. Um, Wonderful ass. 101 is a game that specifically uses that controller. What was the name again? I'm sorry. No, the uh, wonderful, wonderful 101. 101. What is that? It's like a superhero uh, game? Multiplayer? Yeah, yeah. multiplayer? You have like, you have like a team of uh, uh, many guys, and 
uh, the longer you hold down the thing or make a figure or something, they create like guns and swords and shit. Not I don't know. Didn't really understand. Not, not he didn't really talk about it. Was, it was very <laughs> Japanese. There's a lot of stuff the American audience is just not going to get. Can I just right. lay this out there? I know we're running out of time here. Yeah. But, uh, can I just lay this out? And I'm with you. Light kick TKO. KO. Where the hell is my Shenmue 3? Where is my Dreamcast 2? <laughs> I dusted off the Dreamcast to play some Jet Grind Radio today, and apparently I have to start over because I can't read my save game. But still, I think uh, that is going to be, I think that is going to be the uh, M. Night Shyamalan moment of E3. <laughs> when Sega has a surprise Sorry. presentation tomorrow, unveiling the Dreamcast 2. And remember, the first one ran on Windows. This one's going to run on Apple. Oh, well, what's up? I, I, can I also point out that giving us a Mario 3D with cat suits <laughs> is not how to win. He's like, no. you should. He's he's like, you should be so excited about this. Yeah, I'm like, and, no, no, really, I shouldn't. And, and I, I don't don't want Mario. And he treated like, us like we were dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Reggie wouldn't have done During that. the Mario yeah. presentation, he was like, and for the first time in a long time, for you longtime fans, you can select Mario, Luigi, Princess, or Toad like what? you could in Mario 2. Bite me. Wow. Bite me, like, Japanese no shit. dude. No, no. We're not okay. dumb. And also, <laughs> if I we're taking the time to watch the presentation, we obviously know a lot of your history. We know what we're looking for. We're not looking for Mario in a cat suit. No. Oh, by the way, this week's challenge is Mario is missing. So <laughs> we got that going for show. us. Um, but um, it's time for a boss battle question. Um, what was your favorite game revealed at E3? Oh. That you're most looking forward to? Uh, Watch Dogs, man. I think. Still? I think it's still Watch Dogs. I, I mean, there's a lot of good stuff. There was a lot of good stuff, but uh, Watch Dogs is the consistently like the oh that's something interesting. Uh, like mm -hmm. everything else is kind of like a mesh blur together in my head of awesomeness. So uh, ask me again when I've had some time to digest this. <laughs> <laughs> and there's there's still one more day left too. It's the whole day. There's more. There's more. <laughs> ah! Did anybody watch? Con didn't some of you guys watch Konami? Konami? Oh yeah. I oh, Kon oh Konami. Oh. Yes. Uh, was there a hologram this year? I well, I actually just read the report. I did not. Oh. Uh, Sorry. Anyways, but I, I am pretty sure there was a hologram. But uh, Riz, what? my favorite, my favorite moment, my favorite game reveal of E3 wasn't even Titanfall, even though Titanfall was right up there. Mm -hmm. But it's actually Titanfall one A Titanfall. Amazing. I haven't seen it yet, Titan I don't think. 1A Titanfall, 1B World of Tanks. <laughs> I, I cannot admit that I can I cannot admit that I like uh you guys saw me in the hangout before. I was yeah. in shock. I I want it's a it, it's free. It's a free game. You gotta watch this. Xbox I learned hard the this hard way. Summer, <laughs> and I, I, and guess what? I wrote a, I wrote a nice little long diatribe on you did, you uh, did. insert coin to begin dot com, which you can find right now. Um, so go out there and check out why I think World of World of Tanks should be <laughs> on everybody's Xbox three sixty wish list. <laughs> and it'll be easy to get, right? Mm -hmm. it's free. <laughs> and it has tanks, and you have fifteen versus fifteen tanks. Jeez. <sighs> All right, Chachi, what was yours? Uh, I I can't remember the name of it. Um, Just like me. <laughs> Xbox did the uh, that medieval game. Oh, Rise. Yeah, Rise. Rise. Um, Times of Rome or something. Hey, the uh, that between amazing. that and Watch Dogs, yeah, or is it Watch Dogs? So. Yeah, Watch Dogs. Yeah, between that and Watch Dogs, um, it, it, just the the graphics, um, and and the graphic nature of it. Mm -hmm. Like I don't know if you guys were paying attention to that, but there were uh, there were parts where dude was swinging his sword, 
and people were losing limbs. Yeah, <laughs> they watched a lot of 300 in Sparta for that. Mm-hmm. Now, it, uh, as long as the gameplay holds up to the uh, the graphic nature of it, um, it yeah, I, I think um, those are the games I'm looking forward to. Mm-hmm. Cool. All right, um, and my my picks, I have three that I picked. Um, Titanfall, 1A. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, Metal Gear Solid, 5, uh, The Phantom Pain, 1B. Keeper Sutherland. And, um, well, that's, nah. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it now. Um, and uh, I know how you guys always rag on me for my, my love of Final Fantasy, but Final Fantasy 15 looks awesome. There's nothing wrong with that. I, I was I was marking out for that, so uh, those are my three picks. Well, that my favorites. Final Fantasy X. It's which is coming out again in HD. So I'm I'm more because you're big on Final Fantasy X. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I would just like to point out um, if we're talking about failure, real quick, since we we're talking about failures of uh, E3. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, EA. Mm. Uh, um, you, you poor, poor souls. Um, if you start your E3 press conference, you know, only the biggest press conference you're going to do all year. If you start that off with Lance versus Zombies and Peggle 2, you fail. Hey, those are fun games. Oh. I don't care. And People like and those games. People and, like those games. And don't yeah, forget I love Plants vs. The- Zombies. But you do not lead with those at E3. And don't forget at the E th- at the E3 portion of the Xbox press conference. Yeah, it stopped. Their video games stopped. <laughs> so, well, that to be stopped. fair though, to be fair, um, last E3. night Assassin's Creed also crapped the bed mm-hmm. at the Sony but, game uh, so, or pre- let's, press let's conference. Let's be fair. I, again, I. The EA servers were probably down at the time. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, um, you can follow us on Twitter at InsertCoinTV. And uh, new articles going up at the website at uh, InsertCoinToBegin.com. And our challenge this week is Mario is Missing. So uh, play You're that and let us know what you think of that, it. Why aren't you? <laughs> All right. Uh, it's a controversial decision, but. <laughs> All right. And for that, it's game over. 